When applying a transdermal patch as the bedside nurse, you want to alternate the sites to avoid skin irritation and apply at the same time every day to allow for the drug to provide a constant controlled medication that is absorbed directly into the bloodstream. But before we dive into the skills demo, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. There are a variety of transdermal patch options. Some examples include your fentanyl patch, which is used for chronic pain. Another example is your scopolamine patch that is used for motion sickness. So anesthesia will use these and are typically applied behind the ear of the patient to help minimize nausea, which is a common side effect that patients experience post-operatively from surgery. So this medication is also called a scope patch. Another example is your clonidine patches. These are used for hypertension. So these patches I've used for patients that have a difficult time maintaining a controlled blood pressure trend. So these patches will be utilized along with other hypertensive medications. Then you have your birth control patches as an option. Another example are your estroidal patches, which is used as a hormone replacement for the postmenopausal woman. So those are a few examples. Now let's get on to how to apply a fentanyl patch. So it all begins with an order from the ordering healthcare provider. As a bedside nurse, the medication will be listed on your MAR, also known as a medication administration record. You want to try and avoid distractions at the time of preparing and administration of the medication to reduce an error from occurring. So you wanna verify the medication order. These are the things that I am looking at prior to obtaining the medication from the OmniCell or your Pixis. The drug name, which is fentanyl, what's the order dose? the site, the last time it was recorded, and where was it recorded, if it was on the left or right chest, the route, which is transdermal, and verify accuracy of time as you wanna make sure it's applied at the right time to provide accuracy of absorption of the medication. You wanna gather your equipment. This will consist of medication. You wanna verify the medication is not expired or tampered with. You'll also need your gloves, a marker, and some supplies needed to remove the old dressing. This may include water and a washcloth. You wanna make sure you do your hand hygiene and apply your gloves following standard precautions. So provide privacy for the patient and you wanna verify the patient with two patient identifiers and verify any allergies the patient may have. You wanna scan the barcode of the medication and the barcode of the patient's wristband. You wanna verify the medication rights at the bedside with the patient. So right patient, right drug, right route, right time, and right dose. Most importantly, you want the patient to understand the reason for the medication and educate if needed, as the patient has the right to refuse. For any refusal, I'll notify the ordering provider. This provides opportunity for the provider and the patient to discuss further if needed. Don't forget to remove any old dressing from the site folding the edges together and discard of in an appropriate waste bin as indicated by your facility. Then be sure to wash your hands, apply the new gloves on while in the room with the patient. So moving on to the step. So step one, you wanna examine the package, making sure it has not been tampered with. Step two, you wanna open the package and remove the patch. Step three, you wanna label the new patch with date, time and initials. Step four, remove the backing without touching the adhesive part of the medication. Step five, apply the new patch to a hairless site. This can include the upper arm or chest. For this demo, we are applying the patch to the upper arm and you wanna teach the patient if they will be discharged home with the medication, never to apply over hair or it can cause skin irritation. Step six, you're gonna discard your gloves, wash your hands, and complete documentation. So documentation include the site that you administer the medication, so there is a track log for the oncoming RN. And then the patient's response. You wanna monitor the response of the medication. Is the patient's pain tolerable before and after? And do other interventions need to be implemented, such as a PRN medication? You also wanna include any type of follow-up teaching for the patient, in particular pain management, and reducing fall risk, as fentanyl is an opioid that can increase drowsiness. Don't forget to click on the links below and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.